You may have heard the story of a dog named Gunther. Well, Gunther is the world's richest dog. And in 2021, the German Shepherd made headlines because his human handler sold his Miami mansion that used to be owned by Madonna. Gunther comes from a long line of German Shepherds that can all be traced to one dog, Gunther III. That Gunther belonged to the late Countess Carlotta Liebenstein, and she died in 1992. And it's said that she left her vast fortune to her beloved pup. However, our Kristen Brissett Harris is here with a more unique story <laughs> involving the world's richest dog, right? Right, so now there is a Netflix series called okay. Gunther's Millions that tells the story. And actually my old roommate from when I lived down in Miami, Florida yeah. uh, is in the series. He's worked for Gunther um, and the trust for years. So I spoke to him, mm. Lee Dahlberg, Maurizio Mion and Carlo Ricciccelli, who are Gunther's caretaker and handler. Well, I'm so glad all of you are here with us this morning. This incredible tale of this beautiful pup here in front of you. Uh, Marito, your not Netflix documentary is out. Why did you want to tell this story now? Well, I think that uh, somebody probably asked me to, to do that. <laughs> uh, the facts, you know, um, almost the same, have been almost the same for, for some years, but, you know, just... Uh, there is a story, there is a story behind the story, you know, and so right. it's, it's difficult to, to, to tell all the, all, the, all the details every time. So sometimes we change, uh, we change the angle a bit. I mean, it's an incredible story. Lee, you and I have known each other for over 20 plus years. Um, yes, since you were seven. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Um, not. <laughs> but no, you, I guess you and I were roommates. I guess technically Gunther gave me shelter when I lived down in Miami. But I remember you telling me this story about working for the world's richest dog. Um, what's, what is this story that is now out there for everybody? No, I mean, it's been a, a big part of my life and everyone that knows me knows some aspect of the story, but they didn't know the full story until they saw the documentary. Yeah. Quite frankly, I might not have seen, I might not have known the full story until I saw the documentary either, but um, it's been a, an amazing experience. Uh, Maurizio and Carla are family to me. Uh, Gunther is just, honestly, I always said that the story behind the story was more interesting than the story. So um, Gunther's a fascinating part of this, but I honestly, I think the star of the show is uh, uh, sitting right over there next to Gunther. And uh, I was just a lucky, uh, lucky guy that got involved in this project. I've, they've made me part of their family. It's been um, one heck of a whirlwind for sure. <laughs> and Carla, this is, Gun oh, go ahead, Maurizio. Okay, sorry, um, because uh, there are some, some arguments, some discussions. Uh, when uh, when we you, you went to Madonna's mansion and when uh, I remember you uh, you called Maxidos for the training etc. What did really what did really happen in that uh, in that house? I guess uh, what he's speaking about is in the documentary. There was uh, you know uh, one of the questions I think that actually made it to the trailer too was um, oh my god was this some sort of a, a cult no there was nothing like that at all i mean i cannot I, the the whole idea where that um we were you know representing this dog in, in a positive energy and that's what we put forward i mean anybody that knows me knows that's what i'm about everyone that you saw in the documentary came in due to me um Maurizio trusted me to bring good energy people to him so i formulated the group I formulated, um, oh, I formulated, I hired Maxidus, uh, who was our trainer and such like that. And then we had some other uh, help with Barry kind of being the house mother of all the talent that was involved. Um, it was a positive thing all the way through. I mean, yes, it's an unusual story. I mean, a dog <laughs> worth a half a billion dollars and, and there must have been some terrible thing. There was nothing like that. It was a, it was sort of like a family and friends, and we just were spreading positive energy, and we were trying to get the point across about the the importance of joy. Uh, right there with, I mean, Gunther's behaving so well. This is Gunther the sixth. Is that correct? Yes, he's the sixth. Sir. Yes. What and kind? He's very kind. Yeah, I was gonna say, what kind of dog is he? He well, as you can see, he's a, a sweet dog, a very you know. He's, he's like a baby, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, you talk about the story behind the story, which we all learn in the documentary. So don't want to totally spoil it for anybody that has yet to see it. 
Um, <laughs> but what has it been like getting that story out there so many years? Because I'm learning something new and I thought I knew everything from you. <laughs> no, like I said, yeah, I actually learned a few things from the documentary as well. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's always been, I think, um, Maurizio is the force behind this, meaning like he's such an interesting guy. He's such a genuine person. He has a big heart. And um, I'm glad that the world's going to see that through this documentary. It takes some turns. It takes some twists right. and turns. You know, there's always the uh, the trouble <laughs> in the third act. But we all make it through like any good Shakespearean play. And uh, and the nice thing is now there's talk of it. Cool, and we also have uh, the beginning spinoff. Uh, yeah. They um, they have some interesting things going on. Gunther has always a, a trick up his sleeve if he was wearing sleeves. We have some projects going around it as well. And real quick, we, we were told that Gunther just bought a private island or is buying a private island. May I answer? We are negotiating. You know, we've been visiting the island uh, more than a year ago. And uh, yeah, we, we are negotiating. It's not bought yet. Okay. And uh, the idea is to build like a, a sanctuary on, uh, on, this, uh, on this island in the Bahamas. I'm still confused. <laughs> There's so much too. I mean, you learn a little bit more in the documentary, but I mean, I was young and Lee gave me, <clears throat> excuse me, a place to live when I was freelancing. While I, he was the handler. While he was for working Gunther. for Gunther. And he still works for Gunther. Um, but he would tell me this story so many times. I'm like, I just, it's so far fetched and crazy, but yes. it's given him a life for 20, 30 years. Um, and it's wow. still going, and yeah, now they're trying Even to do a sanctuary, yeah. yeah, everything. Jeez. So, Lee, it's great to see you, and yeah. thank you for sharing the story, and check dog. out Gunther's Millions. What a lucky dog, uh -huh. for sure. <laughs>